Hi everyone, welcome back to MovieTube. I am here to be watching Gran Torino for my first time ever and I'm very excited to check this out. It has been recommended quite a few times by a lot of you, so thank you so so much for your suggestions. Um, even if they're from a while ago, I, I still want to eventually get to them, so feel free to leave your suggestions on any video, including Breaking Bad stuff, anything you like, and uh, hopefully I eventually get to it. But uh, yeah, I don't know very much anything about this film, but uh, I'm excited to check it out with you all. So be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you would like to. Um, and of course, as always, this film is already available for our Patreons, uh, linked in the description and the pinned comment, um, the full version and an extended cut version for those who are interested in becoming a patron. Uh, but that's just an option if you'd like. And otherwise, let's get into the film. Gran Torino. Oh boy. We're at a funeral. I'm real sorry about Dorothy Walt. Thanks for coming out. Belly button busy. Spectacles, testicles, wallet, and watch. Yikes. There's nothing anyone can do that won't disappoint the old man. Damn. His sons feel that way. His kids don't seem to like him much. Death is off bittersweet to us Catholics. All of these questions can frustrate you. Oh, damn. And that's why you have to turn to the Lord. Funerals are such a bizarre occasion when you think of it. How will these people come to your house just to... 1952 Korea. Eat and stuff. North Korea. Ah. So, oh, the Korean War. A lot of people showed up after the service, huh? I'm going down the basement. So he was a, a vet. You can do that, Dad. No, I need him now. Not next week. Cool, I found a medal. Subtle. <laughs> I guess he didn't notice. <laughs> this ghetto is a dead zone for my cell, and I'm bored. Help Grandpa Walt with the chairs. Me? Yes, you. <laughs> yes, you. Oh my god, those little like short sleeve shrugs though, they were so big in the early 2010s slash late 2000s. Is that chewing tobacco? How many swamp rats can you get in one room? Uh oh. Grandpa, when did you get the uh, vintage car? 1972. I never knew you had a cool old car. Well, it's been here since before you were born. What are you going to do with it when you... <gasps> die? Girl, you... Whoa! Whoa! <clears throat> Oof. No matter how awful you think your grandpa is, you don't ask them that. So, like, when you die... <laughs> What do you want? Do you have any jumper cables? Oh, we don't have any jumper cable. How are you holding up, Walt? Mr. Kowalski, that's my name. Your wife asked that I watch over you when she passed on. Oh, interesting. I appreciate the kindness you each wanted to go tend to some of your other sheep. Her desire for you to go to confession. His wife was more religious than he? Is that so? Well, I confess that I never really cared for church very much. It'd be hard living now alone without his closest companion, his wife, which in a world he doesn't relate to anymore. That's tough. Wish I could help, Dad, but uh, gotta get the kids home. Fine, just go. Kill you to buy American? <laughs> Damn barbarians. <laughs> Let me guess, your daughter's just unmarriable. <laughs> Mm -hmm. How interesting, them having a, a ceremony for a child being born while they're having a funeral for losing someone. And they're right next door. How different people's lives can be from someone you're right next to. Polarski would roll over in his grave if you could see his lawn now. What the hell? Polarski. In his neighborhood for. Damn was, uh, I guess, the previous owner. <laughs> oh, interesting. Whoa! How much did she have? 
Thế làm nào? I'd really like to talk. Not in this lifetime, Sonny. Không thế. Do you have a problem with me, Mr. Kowalski? Well, I think you're an overeducated 27-year-old virgin. He's got a lot of resentment in his heart. He's an angry, angry person, but it's hard to not be angry after everything you've gone through. Jesus. My little cousin over there. Let's go down and see what the fuck they doing over there. Oh God! Come on, man, get in the car, man. Oh. Bail your ass out, dog. Get in the car, man. Come on. Yeah. Oh, oh no. Yeah, fuck it, man. Let's go. Fuck out of here. Got the strap. Can't catch a damn break. What's up, Tal? What are you doing, little man? Why are you doing women's work? You can't just come and talk to my little cousin. He doesn't want to talk to you. I'm here, right? Hey, spider, who that? Spider? Is that what he just called you? Fong? And it's something wrong with Spider? You guys are stupid. I'm going inside. Have your old bro do this carny. Quiet, stupid. You gonna roll with us, man? Come on. We're cuz, right? We're family. God, give it a break. Take this shit off, man. Come on. Come on, roll with us, man. Come on. So what do I have to do? That's a nice car. 1972, Gran Torino. Oh, it's the name of the car. Sorry, I know nothing about cars. It's in mint condition, man. Oh, I've got one. A Jew and a colored guy go into a bar. The bartender says, get the fuck out of here. Here's where my flock congregates when they're not in church. You are persistent. He is persistent. <laughs> I kind of admire it. That's, that's admirable, dude. Have a Diet Coke. This is a bar and you have a drink. Yeah, Diet Coke is a very good drink. Love a Diet Coke. Nothing can beat a DC. <laughs> I promised your wife I'd get you to go to confession. <laughs> Now, why would you do that? She was very insistent. Let's talk about something else. Life and death. The hell do you know about life and death? Whereas he's seen it face to face. I lived for almost three years in Korea with his bikes. Hacked 17-year-olds to death with shovels. Stuff I'll remember till the day I die. Yeah. But things I'll live with. And what about life? I survived the war. Got married, had a family. Sounds like you know a lot more about death than you do living. Damn. Poignant. I actually really like this priest character. Maybe so, Father. That's an awful f experience to know more about death than life. Son of a bitch. This scene is beautifully filmed with the light flickering. Oh my god. With the military drums. Oh. Oh. Get in! Get in, Tao! Get in! <coughs> Is he purposefully leaving the car out to uh, see what happens again? Hey, what's up? Minding our own business. Yeah, good news for you, man. Come on, man. We're gonna give you another shot, man. Come on. Eef. Mind your own business, girl. Come on. Get off my lawn. Listen, old man, you don't want to fuck with me. Get off my lawn now. Go back in the house. I blow a hole in your face and then I go in the house. You can count on that. Damn. <laughs> There's stacked fucks like you five feet high in Korea. Use you for sandbags. Oh my god. And watch your back. Oh man. Thank you. Get off my lawn. They even said thank you after he said that. Good job. What the hell is this? No, no, no. No more. No more. Why can't you people just leave me alone? Why are you bringing me all this garbage anyway? Because you saved Tao. I'm not a hero. <sighs> Too bad they think you are. No, I just want to be left alone. Thank you. Tao wants to say something. No. <laughs> I'm sorry. We're trying to steal your car. You step on this property again, you're done. Good afternoon, Walt. Why didn't you call the police? Oh. He's involved. That's so weird. Things go wrong, you gotta act quickly. When we were in Korea and we didn't call the police. We're not in Korea, Mr. Kowalski. We're not in wartime. 
You carry around all the horrible things you were forced to do. Yeah. It would do you good to unload some of that burden. To lean on someone. Let yourself be supported. Well, I gotta hand it to you, Padre. Maybe he doesn't feel he deserves peace. The thing that haunts a man the most is what he isn't ordered to do. Yeah. Finally looked like a human being again. Cheap son of a bitch. You cheap SOB. I was always hoping you'd die off and I'd get somebody in here who knew what the hell they were doing. Damn. <laughs> Been 10 bucks for the last five years, you son of a bitch. See you in three weeks, prick. <laughs> prick. What if I see you first, dipshit? What a relationship. Man, look at this. Ooh. Why you acting all stuck up and shit? What you supposed to be, man? Nah, it's cool, dog. What the fuck you doing in my neighborhood, boy? What? Come on, it's all good, bro. Call me bro again, man. I'll bite your motherfucking you? face off. I'm gonna take real good care of her. Fuck out of here, man. Keep your ears right here. What's your name, girl? Take a crude, overly obvious come on to every woman who walks past and cram it. That's my name. <laughs> who you think you're talking to? Huh? Shit. Whoa. You gonna hit me now? Let's take this bitch. <laughs> Fuck you looking at old man. You better get your ass on, hunky, while I still let you. Ever notice how you come across somebody once in a while that you shouldn't have fucked with? That's me. <laughs> Damn. Fuck him, what's wrong with him, man? The fuck? The fuck? Motherfucker crazy. <laughs> Get in the truck. I guess that was a warning. Now hey, Pop. Yep, it was a warning. Way to go, old man. Shut up, pussy. These guys don't want to be your bro, and I don't blame them. I'll get your old fatty ass on down the road. <sighs> oh my god. Take care now. Me, you too. Trying to get yourself killed. Thought you Asian girls were smart. And what about that goofball? Is that a date or something? Kinda. His name is Trey. Trey. <laughs> Should be hanging out with your own people. Not hung. Whatever. Hung is in a place. It's a people. Laos, Thailand, and China. I didn't know that. We fought on your side, and when the Americans quit, the communists started killing all the homes. So we came over here. Huh. I didn't know that either. Blame the Lutherans. They brought us over here. But it blames the Lutherans. <laughs> Everybody blames the Lutherans. What? <laughs> Think the cold would keep all the idiots out. <laughs> Thanks for the ride. You know something, kid? You're all right. Aww. <laughs> A dimwit brother of yours. He just doesn't know which direction to go in. Your birthday today, Daisy. Oh, happy birthday, Daisy. Two life paths. Second chances come your way. What a load of shit. Yeah. Happy birthday, Daisy. Let me help you with those. Not all kids. <laughs> How about that? <laughs> She's like, told you. <laughs> My grandson's great. Uh, we miss mama, don't we, Daisy? Oh, I guess this place feels like his only connection to her, and I cannot, can't imagine how hard that is to feel like you need to leave your your comfort place, the place you feel safe in. Hey, Walt, what are you up to? We're having a barbecue. You want to come over? No. There's tons of food. <laughs> you can be my special guest. Fine, right here. That's so sweet of her to invite him. She didn't need to do that. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Come on over and get something to eat. We've got beer too. There you go. I might as well drink with strangers. <laughs> it is my birthday. Happy birthday, Wally. Wally. <laughs> Don't call me. No. Hey, well, no, she's well, not. No, she's not. <laughs> no, she's not. She hates you. <laughs> yeah, she hates you. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Aww. What? Oh. What? What does that mean? What are you looking at anyway? Sorry. Is it rude to like pat a kid on the head? Never touch one person on the head. Oh. Most people believe that the soul resides on the head. Sounds dumb, but didn't, fine. Didn't know. Just... Oh, you people are nuts. But the food smells good too. Can I come back for seconds? No. <laughs> She's very patient with him, more than she needs to be, but I think she really appreciates you go. I don't know, that he's went out of her, his way for her safety the second time. He's a more family shaman. Sort of a witch doctor or something? Something like that. You're funny, Wally. She's gonna keep calling you Wally. He would like to read you. It'd be rude not to allow him this. It's a great honor. <laughs> sure, fine by me. Take a seat. He's gonna start liking them more than his own family, I feel like. Because of their, their care for tradition. He must admire that kind of traditional way. He says you have no happiness in your life. You're not at peace. Yeah, I mean, he, he don't have happiness, that's for sure. 
Are, are you all right? I'm not. No. Yeah, I'm fine. And I do my own sport. That's what I thought he would feel, yeah. Yeah, he feels more appreciated or happy birthday. Respected or just a camaraderie with them. Wow. Oh hot damn, I'm hungry. Oh, that looks so good. <laughs> He's so happy. Oh my god, I could drool right now. Come on, you glutton. What's up? Let's go. Mingle. Mingle, we're mingling right here. Thank you very much for going out. I'll be back. I'll have it. Oh, okay. <laughs> He's like, I'm coming back for that plate. Do not get rid of that plate. Yes, the the emo 2009 hair with the, the side part. Kind of more like this. Oh yeah, that's 2009. <laughs> that's nice of you. That's your fix. Oh, it's very nice. A little rice liquor. Here, try it. All right. Is it similar to sake? Damn, he didn't flinch. He has had far worse, <laughs> far stronger. Not that that's bad, but as in he's had stronger than that. Probably some homemade moonshine. <laughs> Relax, I'm not gonna shoot you. I'd look down too if I was you. You know, I knew you were a dipshit worse with women than you are at stealing cars. <laughs> worse with women than stealing cars. Well, you're blowing it with that girl who was there. I may not be the most pleasant person. The <laughs> best woman who was ever on this planet to marry me. Aww. It was the best thing that ever happened to me, hands down. Oh, I'm gonna cry. She likes you, you know. Though I don't know why. You know, the girl in the purple sweater. You mean you are? Yeah, nice girl. Let her just walk right out with the three stooges. Three stooges. Big fat pussy. I gotta go. Puss cake. Never heard that insult before. But that made me really emotional what he said about his wife. Oh my god. <laughs> Okay, put him over there. Oh, he's suffering! He's suffering! He said, okay, those flowers are pretty. Fine. <laughs> Come on, no more now. Uh, no more. Oh, but I really good. Oh, but that's really nice. Uh, can I have some? <laughs> Alright, put it, put it on the table. Come on. Give me more. <laughs> Better than beef jerky, I'll tell you. Hell yeah, it's better than beef jerky. Can they come to my house and give me some? Are you kidding me? I'm so jealous. What's going on? Pal is here to make amends. He's here to work for you. Oh. My mama said he dishonored the family. I don't even want him on my property. But isn't that so respectful, what you wish your kids were like? Why is this being put back on me? <laughs> <laughs> now, it's, now it's your responsibility. If he doesn't want to do it, then let's just go. <laughs> yeah, shut up. <laughs> yeah, shut up. I'm a bitch who never thought he'd show. Disciplined, traditional, respectful. You gotta work for me. I gotta know what you're good at. I, I don't know. Good at cleaning, mowing. You want me to wash paint dry? I'm not the one who tried to steal. Don't you forget that. I don't care if you insult me or say racist things. You know what? I'll take it. You have no teeth. You have no balls, kid. Why don't you just find something useful for me to do? <laughs> True. True. How long do I have you for? Till next Friday. All right. You wanted to fix the neighbor's stuff? When you get finished with that roof there, nail it back up. I'm tired of looking. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the neighbor's stuff. <laughs> It's like, my property is not a mess, but this one, a mess. Fix it. <laughs> Damn, that stump is strong. <laughs> Grandpa says he wants to know a toll to clear of West Ness under our... <laughs> That's terrible. Yeah. Everyone's getting <laughs> to lunch. <laughs> getting talented to, to do their jobs. <laughs> <coughs> the tobacco's not going to be helping with that. Lord Almighty, knock it off. It's my last day. So what else do you have for me to do? Take the day off. You've done enough. 
Toad. Nothing. Never mind. I feel that this would be the best way to go about uh, checking out all the issues. What happened to Dr. Fellman? I'm his replacement. Yeah. Hey, Dad. It's me, your dad. No, look at that photo of the wedding day. How's everything going? Fine. Doing fine. I got a lot on my plate right now, so if there's not something pressing... Uh... No, not at all. I'm going to call my grandma after this. <laughs> Could be my grandma's 90th this year. I'm very grateful that she's still around. I'm very lucky. What do you know about Fawcett? I know a lot about him. Stand aside. Stand aside. <laughs> I love my feet. This place is falling apart. Yeah, it is. Oh, they have me stressed out. What are you talking about? All the tools and stuff. I mean, there's just so much shit packed in here. Would have taken years to accumulate. Tool in here has a purpose. Everything has a job to do. What's that? Post hole digger, vice grips, wire cutters, troll, come on. As a millenni millennial, well, I'm technically, I think, a zillennial, but what I would do for a home with a whole room for, like, tools and a workbench to fix things on. Oh. I can't afford to buy all this stuff. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. That a man acquires this over a period of 50 years? Yeah, 50 years. Here. But to get a home where you can fit all this stuff in. You can have this. WD-40, vice grips, duct tape. Anything else you need, you just borrow it, that's all. Mm -hmm. That's really nice. <coughs> What's with that? He's dying. I just saw you cough the blood. That's not good. Those guys were here the other night. Just a gang. What were they doing here? What was your initiation supposed to be? My Gran Torino. Well, he had the balls to tell him. That's crazy. I wouldn't have told him. <laughs> kind of ironic, huh? So watching the car that he tried to steal from you. She's even calling him Toad. It's nice of you to after him like this. He doesn't have any real role models in his life. But you're a good man, Wally. <laughs> Go call me Wally. You like him, don't you? He tried to steal my car. <laughs> and you're a good man. I'm not a good man. Get me another beer, dragon lady. <laughs> I know what she means, though. You know, you should quit. That's bad for you. So it's being in a gang, dipshit. <laughs> you got him. I saw you cough up blood. I don't think he feels he has much to live for. So what do you want to do with your life, kid? Think about maybe sales? My oldest son is in sales. And he's got a freaking nice house. License to steal. <laughs> Grand Torino in 1972, right on the line. Wow, that's You cool. are old. You are... <laughs> That's so cool how old you are. <laughs> going to school, maybe? School costs money. Can't you sit there and spread mulch in my garden the rest of your life? <laughs> maybe you could just pay me. Very funny. I get a job. You can get a job anywhere. Well, how about construction? You've gotten good at it. So I have to make a little adjustment and man you up a little bit. He would help him get a job? And I think you ought to date Miss Yum Yum, too. <laughs> You're so ridiculous. Now you're just gonna learn how guys talk. You okay? You ready? <laughs> how you doing, Martin, you crazy Italian prick? <laughs> Master, I should have known you'd come in. I was having such a pleasant day. <laughs> They're so mean to each other, it's hilarious. Oh, God. Pussy kid from next door. I'm just trying to man him up a little bit. Now that's how guys talk to one another. Yeah, they say awful things to each other. Manly. Come back in and talk to him like a man. Come on back now. Slip, you old Italian prick. <laughs> my shop before I blow your head off. Jesus Christ. Jesus. Whoa, what the hell? Take it easy. <laughs> the hell are you doing? Have you lost your mind? What? That's what you said. You don't just come in and insult the man in his own shop. <laughs> what should I have said then? Hi or hello. <laughs> Sir, I'd like a haircut if you have the time. Okay, but <laughs> you were telling him to. Okay. Talk about people who are not in the room. Job, a car, or a girlfriend. I should have blown his head off when I had the chance. Yeah, maybe so. Maybe so. <laughs> and take three. Excuse me, sir. I need a haircut. You ain't too busy. Old Italian son of a bitch. <laughs> Boy, does my ass hurt from all the guys in my construction job. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to get him a job. That's... Really cool though. Man could tell a lot by your handshake. Put those in your back pocket. Don't blow this. Don't blow this. 
Hey, Kennedy. Okay, yeah, uh, this is the kid I was telling you about. Uh, he knows construction, and he's a smart kid. He's fit and healthy. Speak English? Yes, sir. Were you born here? You bet. You got a vehicle? Not at the moment. You don't have a car? My head gets get cracked. Pricks at the shop. Bend me over for 2100. Oh, to replace the tranny in my- Hey, he's talking, he's talking the talk. <laughs> it ain't right. It ain't right. Come on in on Monday and find something for you to do. Thanks, Mr. Kennedy. It's Tim. What's your name again? Uh, Tom. You owe me one, Walt. Hand over them keys to that Grand Torino. What the hell does everybody want in my car? <laughs> yeah, you don't know the half of it. <laughs> God, I'm talking about the car now. They're robbing me blind. <laughs> I, I really appreciate all this. Forget it. Uh, I really do. Thank you. <laughs> That's really sweet. Doing? Checking up on my little cousin. So it's true, you got a job. You can't just leave me alone. Why the fuck you gotta make me look bad, huh? Massive is my oh. job, man. Damn, why? Just. <sighs> hey, come on. Your ego's that bruised? Thanks, man. Fuck it. <laughs> From your cousin not joining? <laughs> hey, little bitch. Ah! Hey there. Haven't seen you in a few days. Where you been? Been busy. Busy, huh? Yeah. What the hell happened to you? It's not your problem. Grabbed me a couple of days ago, right after I got off work. Cowards. But they broke someone's tool. I'll, I'll replace them. Oh. Worry about the tools. Where's your cousin live? Oh, jeez. <laughs> no, Wolf. I'll be okay. I don't want you to do anything. If you need the extra tools, let me know. I could use a roofing hammer. One in my garage and get it. Oh. I'm really glad that they found each other in this weird way and got to have each other in their lives. Oh boy. Hey. Yeah. You stay away from Tyler. And just, I'll take that as a yes, because if I have to come back here, it's going to get fucking ugly. He really cares about Tao. Well, I'm feeling good. It's beautiful women, food, and Tao. <laughs> Having a good time, I see. Uh, what happened to your knuckles anyway? Now I slipped in the shower. Now, yum, yum. If he doesn't ask you out, I'm going to ask you out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm the white devil. <laughs> he said, yep, that's me. He beat you to it. Really? Dinner and, and a movie or what? <laughs> You're taking the bus. No, you can't take the bus. How about that? The Grand Torino. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'd let you take the Grand Torino. <laughs> he loves Tao. Yeah, really. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Is everybody all right? You're all right. She okay? Is she okay? Did he call him? You okay? Yeah. Police finally left. I took Sue to the hospital. She's scared. They're all scared. It's horrible. Tao especially. You know what he expects. What would you do? I know what I would do if I was you. If I was Tao, I guess I'd want vengeance. I want to stand shoulder to shoulder with you and kill those guys. What would I do? I'd come over here and talk to you, I guess. It pisses me off too, Mr. Kowalski. Want a beer? I love one. Just isn't fair. So what are you gonna do, Mr. Kowalski? Call me Walt. All right. What are you gonna do, Walt? Think of something. Whatever it is, they won't have a chance. Okay. What are you doing? Thinking. Thinking time is over. Now it's time to knock the shit out of those praise. But now's the time to stay calm. You want me to be calm? Those mistakes get made. Don't let me down, Walt. This is gonna end today. Now listen to me. We gotta plan this very carefully. Damn. You know I'm the right man for this job. So I want you to go home and stay calm. And come back here at four this afternoon. And what needs to be done will be done. Oh. Mr. Tough Guy out for blood. You know nothing about it. Okay. Give me a break, please. It's the first time I've ever smoked in the house. Does he think he's gonna die tonight? If he... I don't suppose your guinea hands are steady enough to do a straight shave. You've never asked for a straight shave ever. Here's a 20. Keep the change. He thinks... In case you hit my juggler. <laughs> 
thinks this will be it, maybe. Oh, God. I never had a fitted suit before. You look very good. Mm -hmm. He's doing all these things before um, he makes a decision. What can I do for you, Mr. Kowalski? Oh, before he goes through with his decision. What are you up to? Are you going to give me a confession or not? Bless me, Father, for I have sinned. What are your sins, my son? I kissed Betty Jablonski at the factory Christmas party. Dorothy was in the other room with the other wives. Why would you do that? Go on. I was never very close with my two sons. I don't know them. That's it? That's it. It's bothered me most of my life. God loves you and forgives you. I absolve you of all your sins. Wait, what? That's it? Thank you, Padre. Sorry, I've never done one. I don't know what, like... Busy day. Gotta go. Go in peace. Oh, I am at peace. Yeah. He knows what he's gonna do. Fired a weapon before? No. Okay, don't... Yeah. Why don't you put that one down? That's common sense. You don't need to point it at someone you're not trying to shoot. Oh, God. I have to give me a silver star. Here, I want you to have it. Why? As we all knew the dangers that night, but we went anyway. That's the way it might be tonight. Chance you don't come back. The hell we won't. But you can't live like that, yeah. Exact reaction they're waiting for. How many men did you kill in Korea? Thirteen, maybe more. What was it like to kill a man? You don't want to know. What? Whoa. What are you doing? He's saving him from doing any crime. You want to know what it's like to kill a man? Well, it's goddamn awful. The only thing worse is getting the Medal of Valor for killing some poor kid. I shot him right in the face with that rifle you were holding and- Jesus. You don't want that on your soul. That's why I'm going it alone tonight. I'm proud to say that you're my friend. Oh. Whole life ahead of you. Yeah, you're not gonna go to jail for this. And I'm going it alone. Hmm. Oh no, he's giving Daisy to- <laughs> <laughs> he knows he's not gonna see her again. How that hurts. <laughs> it's Walt. Keys to my house are under the ceramic turtle on the front porch. Your brother's in the basement. I gotta go. Over here! Over here! Come on. Do not no! Don't go down, don't. Swap rats in there. I didn't think your ass would have came. I got nothing to say to you, shrimp dick. Because it was either he or you or one of their own family. Their own blood, for Christ's sake. <laughs> Go ahead. So where's Tao at? Don't worry about Tao. Tao's got not one second for you. What gonna do? Huh, okay. bitch? <laughs> kind of jumpier. Shut the fuck up. You shut the fuck up. He doesn't care if he dies. A light? In fact, he fully expects to, obviously. Me? I've got a lot of berries, right? Jeez. Ugh. So now they'll get arrested? Friend of mine said, Step back. What happened? He's my friend. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He just wanted them to kill him. <laughs> so, yeah, they will we'll be arrested. That was his plan. It's very clever. Are they going to his funeral? <laughs> Walt Kowalski once said to me was an over-educated 27-year-old virgin. <laughs> Walt definitely had no problem calling it like he saw it. I knew really nothing about life or death until I got to know Walt. I also love the relationship he had with Walt. <laughs> and I want to leave my house to the church because Dorothy would have liked it. And I'd like to leave my 1972 Grand Torino to... Tao. My friend, Tao Van Lohr. <laughs> yours. And what you see or what you've done whisper through my Grand Torino. Wow. <laughs> Alrighty, everyone. 
That was Gran Torino, and can I tell you, that surprised the hell out of me. I wasn't sure what to think toward the start. Um, it felt so bizarre and just, I don't know, like, almost dark for the sake of it, like him having such racist things to say and, and you know, it felt quite cold and cruel, but there was so much sincerity there and that really surprised me and just how like you know someone like that who is racist which is an objectively awful thing but it's because of so much of what he experienced in in wartime which was such a particular situation that obviously his sons and a lot of other people couldn't relate too, but he found almost like a camaraderie and a and an understanding in the people he expected to be the most prejudiced to. You know, the people he he felt like he wanted to judge the most and not trust the most. But he he felt safest and most understood with them. And people like Sue and Tao were really kind to him when maybe he didn't deserve it. But it blossomed into such a beautiful relationship, and that's really sweet. And I wish all, I don't know, veterans of, of any war could have like more of a community and support of people around them. And I think it was very big of, of him to be able to, despite his, his prejudice, to go into their home and say, hey, they're reaching out an olive branch to be kind and offer me food and drink while I'm here lonely and sitting on my porch drinking beer. Let's take them up on it. And through that big move, he found a lot of kindness and support. And even the, the priest, his character impressed me a lot as well. I think he was very level-headed and very kind and genuine. And... <laughs> I, I get what Walt had to say about like you you make promises you can't keep and how cruel that must feel as well for him whose wife believed so deeply clearly in Catholicism but he feels like well it's clearly not working because she's dead and I'm here and she deserves better like oh just that was way more poignant and beautiful than I anticipated I guess is what I'm trying to say and uh yeah, I think that was really harder hitting than I expected. So <laughs> I hope you all enjoyed. <laughs> Thank you so, so much for uh, watching, for leaving a like and subscribing if you haven't already. And as always for uh, leaving suggestions, things you'd um, think I'd resonate with, such as this movie, because I had my doubts at the start, but God, y'all, that, that really meant a lot to me. That was really a special film. I'm going to go call my grandma now. So <laughs> thank you all so, so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.